So we're jumping from so the 2004, 2008, all the way up to 2012, where I decided to put Line of Duty, because it did start in 2012. I'm talking about all three series, but specifically the first series, I think. It was just before the Olympics, mm. and I was I was back in the UK knowing I was coming home, and I'd, via email in the US, been in contact with a lot of the BBC press officers. I didn't know what one was. I emailed one and it opened up a whole connection with these people. And I went round Television Centre in 2012 and met all these people, and there was a show on with Christopher Eccleston called Blackout, I remember, yep. and it was on the same week of Line of Duty. And this You're one, right. This one press officer, who I shan't name, because I think she still works at the BBC, uh, was promoting both Blackout and Line of Duty. Hated Blackout and loved Line of Duty, and that hoped Blackout wouldn't do well, and Line of Duty, everyone would be talking about. And the, I remember the whole of the, the press office was talking about Line of Duty and how to get the word out and how it was one of the best dramas they've had to work on uh, for such a long time and for us to still be talking about it now and again it's not one we need to dwell on overly because um, we've done it over and over over to death on our podcast and it's on Matt and Gary's list but I think whenever I watch it I just think it's so clever it's one of those shows that I think it's just so it's clever smart. it's Art, isn't it? Let, let's face it. One of the things that we all like about it is that it you have to pay attention. It feels like you are more intelligent for knowing what's going on. Yeah, you feel like you've spent an hour with somebody who's crafted this perfect show that doesn't explain anything to you that you really have to be invested in, and you feel when it finishes like really satisfied and better off for seeing it, and. The fact that we've got two more series that we know of to come is is just brilliant. The fact that it's moving to BBC One worries me just a tiny bit, but maybe that's just my... I can't see what will change moving it to BBC One, to be honest. I can't see what the creator and the style of the show will change, other than I think it will, you know more people will see it. I mean, I've been editing Matt and Gary's list, and Gary calls it be- one of the best... Well, British drama at its best is what you referred to it. And yeah, it would well, be hard, even though you said it, it would be hard to find fault in that. 